Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting the solution to question number 17 from the Park Algebra 2 practice test. This question states that given the functions h of x equals the absolute value of x minus 4 plus 1 and k of x equals x squared plus 3, which intervals contain a value of x for which these two functions are equal? Select all that apply. So the first thing that I note is that they're, they're trying to get us to find when these two functions are equal to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply substitute in the specific functions for h of x and k of x to get a more specific equation. Okay, so you may have noticed that I, I wrote the equation with very specific colors in mind. I made the left side blue and the, red, the right side red. And I did this on purpose because I often think about the solutions to equations from a graphic perspective. And I think that's possibly what they're going for here in this park question. Now the left hand side is an absolute value function whose graph looks like the letter V. And this particular V is going to be shifted four units to the right and one unit up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up some axes to show you that. So I'm going to go four units to the right and one unit up. And I also can very quickly uh, assess what the y-intercept would be of this v. If I let x equal 0, I get 4 plus 1 is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Knowing that this v is symmetric, I can go 4 more units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, and up to 5. And now I can draw this v. Okay, now let's move to the right side, which is a quadratic function, and quadratic functions look like parabolas, and this particular parabola is shifted neither to the right or to the left, so it's going to be right on the y-axis, but it's going to be shifted three units up, so we already have uh, our y-axis tick marks there, so let's count up three, and we'll go ahead with the red pen and draw the parabola, just, you know, a rough approximation. So there's the one arm of the parabola and there is the second arm of the parabola. And what I notice is that these two graphs are equal to each other where the two graphs cross. And they cross twice, once over here and then the other time over there. And it's really almost impossible to do this by hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the calculator to find these points of intersection and then we'll see which intervals they fall in to select our correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cue the calculator up Okay, so I'm going to go to the y equals screen, and I'm going to press math, num, absolute value, x minus 4, come out of the absolute value, plus 1, and then I'm going to scroll down to y sub 2, and I'm going to put in x squared plus 3, and then I'll type in zoom, or I'll press zoom, and then 6, and hopefully I'll see two graphs that are similar to the red and blue ones that I've drawn here by hand. So there's the absolute value, which looks like a V, and there's the parabola, which looks like a U. So yeah, my graph that I drew looks pretty, pretty close here. So there are two points of intersection, the one on the left and the one on the right. And to have the calculator do intersection points, we use second, trace, option five, which says intersect. And I'm going to start by finding the intersection point over to the left by moving the cursor over there and pressing enter three times. One, two, three and it says there's an intersection when x equals negative 2. So our first answer is at negative 2. Okay, now I'm going to cue the calculator up again, and I'm going to find the intersection over to the right by repeating the process. Second, trace, 5. And let's go over here to the rightmost intersection point. And then I'll press enter, enter, enter. And this intersection is at x equals 1. This guy right here is x equals 1. So let's take a look. Do we have an answer that's between negative 4.5 and negative 3? And the answer to that is no. We do not have an answer in that little region. Is there an answer between negative 3 and negative 1.5? And the answer to that is yes. There is an answer in that region. Next, is there an answer between negative 1.5 and positive 1.5? And I think the answer to that is yes. 1 falls in that region. And then we've already got our two regions, so I'm sure the last two don't work, but we should just look real quick. Is there an answer between 1.5 and 3? No. And is there an answer between 3 and 4.5?
No. So the trick here was to think graphically. Uh, knowing some of the features of your graph and calculator will certainly help. And also knowing some basic transformations. The fact that we took this V and we shifted it four to the right and one up. And the fact that we took the parabola, which looks like a U, and we shifted it three units up. Those are all skills that you need to know how to do to successfully answer this question.